Exactly a year ago, I made a video discussing the future of this channel. 2022 was a year where my video output was very slow, in spite of me wanting to keep chipping away at my eternal backlog, and as before getting into the things I work on outside of YouTube. My main plan was to front load as many videos as I could, and then start January with a weekly schedule. I faced a few hiccups and some stuff happening in real life, but I'll say the plan worked. I managed to upload one video per week successfully for the vast majority of this year, at least until the start of July, where the aforementioned real life stuff got in the way and I wasn't able to play games, let alone make videos. I got back on track for the month of October after that two month hiatus, but now we are halfway into November and I missed two weeks of uploads. And that's okay really. These weeks where I didn't do much in terms of gaming have given me time to think. I consider 2023 to be a massive success in spite of the difficulties I'm facing. That weekly schedule managed to fix a major flaw in me, a lack of consistency. I am feeling more confident with myself and the stuff I can produce, but even with the front loading, the scheduling and all the lettering I did, I realized there is room for improvement. As the year went by, there were a number of video essays I like to have in the background when I'm writing or editing video. One of them involved Dan Olson from Falling Ideas writing a book in a month as a test to see how bad a certain grifting method of spamming sloppy books on marketplaces can get. Watching him chronicle his entire journey, and then realizing how all of it fit into the rest of the documentary, made me figure out the next step for me. Consistency is great, but it needs to be complemented with focus. I can humbly admit that because I want to do everything, I end up doing very little. Or rather, I have a hard time concentrating, so my approach ends up being very scattershotish. What I mean by this is, even though I managed to train myself to make and upload weekly videos in advance, I was still using a very unfocused mentality. My gaming backlog and my videos are made with a very, quote unquote, depending on how I'm feeling mentality. That means I can go from playing an open world game, to playing a short indie, to then play a roguelike, and so on and so forth. If I am playing a game that is from a long running series, I end up shoving a whole bunch of other games in between in a misguided attempt to space things out. That's how the first two Crisis games have a 3 year gap between them, or how it took me 5 freaking years to fully play and make videos on the Metro Trilogy. And those are just the two best examples that came to my mind. You can find even more examples of that in my review playlist since I now put the year I made the review in all of the titles for the sake of consistency. One other thing I said during that video was that I wanted to use the advantage of having videos made in advance so I could work on making video essays, even make opinion essays to space things out a little bit since those don't need specific gameplay clips. Yeah, that didn't pan out the way I wanted it either. I had videos made in advance, sure, but it also locked me into an accidental loop. One where I kept shoving smaller reviews in order to buy time, time I spent making those filler videos and continued to neglect the essays and, well, that means I, that loop became a very vicious cycle. To the point I have an Assassin's Creed 3 review I haven't made in spite of having been in the game 5 months ago at the time of this recording, and I have a whole folder of Homeflown gameplay I recorded almost two and a half years ago and they haven't gotten around making either. The problem is once again time. The AC3 review script is 5 pages long, the home from script where I want to discuss the entire trash fighter of a campaign, 10 pages. I'm talking both a 15 minute review and a 30 minute retrospective, both filled with a lot of editing ideas I still have the notes of for the things I want to add, which means they may run even longer than that. And this in turn branches into a new vicious cycle where I am forcefully restraining myself from playing some bigger games, because the recording of both games are taking up 10% of my 1TB drive, so I keep making smaller videos and, well, you get the idea. So going back to what I said, how am I going to teach myself to focus better and support this new consistency I learn? Well, for starters I'm going to have to accept I may or may not make the weekly schedule as before. There's a number of reviews this year I did not enjoy making too much, and I also learned my limits on what I can do with my scripts. Meaning, I want to prioritize quality over quantity. The Space Marine review I scrapped is what I learned it is best to not force myself to make a video if I am not feeling it, and to avoid the mistake of making this possible slob that is only making me waste time on content that just is enough to my own standards for my channel. My standards are that I see videos as seeds. 
Ever since I stopped making news for views videos, I told myself I'd only ever make videos that will have long-term efficiency, meaning they may not please YouTube's algorithm and SEO production line standards for the first week of upload, but rather videos that can be viewed and recommended in the long term. I have reviews that for months stay stuck at 20 to 50 views. Looking at them today and after following myself in post schedule, some of them are now sitting in the hundreds of views. And I now have two videos for this year that actually broke a thousand views, which of course is not much in the grand scheme of things. But for a one man operation as myself, this is a major milestone that has made me truly happy. I want my videos to be rewatchable, to be easy to revisit. I want them to reach anyone who is browsing a Steam cell and wants to see a more updated look at these games. And maybe, just maybe, feel like I got someone to try out something new. Yeah, it sounds like I'm a bit full of myself, but I have received comments saying just that, and it feels amazing. So, for 2024, I'm gonna focus myself whether with my videos. It may mean I'm potentially going to miss a Wednesday or two depending on how big the review or the essay may be, but I don't necessarily think this means I'll upload less videos. Even with the two and a half months of hiatus I had this year, I still made 27 videos, 28 counting this one, and I still want to get a couple more done before this year ends. For 2024, I want my video output to remain similar to this one, but allowing myself a small gap here and there so I can make the quality videos I want to make, while also making another extra video in the works. That way, I keep making the videos I want, but in a more focused manner, and also avoiding the trappings of both the production line type of videos and the scattershot approach that complicated things for myself. If, say, I look at games that have sequels that I have access to, I will focus on finishing those. Maybe allow myself at least one game gap between sequels so I can avoid burnout or writer's block. If I want to make a video essay, I will focus on seeing that one through and also make sure it's a topic I am 100% feeling. Does this mean this plan is gonna be perfect and I'll successfully make what I want better? Probably not. This year showed me there are things I won't be able to make. Plans are never guaranteed to work 100%, but you can plan it in a way where you can make the most of it and come out the other side feeling satisfied with the growth you have achieved. As I grow older, I continue to be fascinated in the ways I keep learning new things about myself, how I can always keep growing as a person and use each of these life experiences so I can better myself each time. Nothing lasts forever, but if I can enjoy and cherish every second of everything I do, then that will be a life well lived. So I believe it is safe to say, I feel ready to face 2024. I am excited for the new experiences, and I am looking forward to see how I can continue to push myself forward, and that way, I can come back next year and happily talk about how far we have come.